It is always a joy to teach a poem by A.K. Ramanujan. I consider A.K. Ramanujan to be one of the founding fathers of modern Indian poetry in English. Of course, there was Nassim Ezekiel, but Ramanujan also made a tremendous contribution to post-independence Indian poetry in English. He played a crucial role in overthrowing the Romanticism that was the reigning ideology of Indian poetry in English before independence. He was a gifted poet, but he was much more than a mere poet. He was a professor. He was a translator. He translated from Tamil, Kannada, Telugu. He was a scholar. He was an expert in linguistics. He was a folklorist. He collected proverbs and folk wisdom. He was passionate about the theatre. Above all, he was a very fine human being. The poem that we are doing today is of mothers, among other things. Of mothers, among other things. It is a famous poem. It's a poem which is widely prescribed. It's a typical poem of A.K. Ramanujan. And you must remember that from Ramanujan's point of view, the poem has a tricky subject, a difficult subject. Any other poet would have fallen into the trap of emotionalism while writing such a poem. I sometimes tell my students that the archetypal Indian son suffers from a mother fixation. Ramanujan comes from a society. I come from a society where mother fixation is the norm among sons rather than the aberration. If I had written this poem, I would have titled the poem My Mother and I would have fallen into the trap of emotionalism, into the trap of sentimentality, and I would have felt very happy about it. But here is Ramanujan, the great ironist, determined to write about his mother, sidestepping the trap of sentimentality. And you must remember that Ramanujan comes from a culture that defies the mother, from a culture where the first poet said, where the Adi Kavi said, where Valmiki said, Janani Janma Bo Mischa Surgatha Pigari Yasi. Janani Janma Bo Mischa Surgatha Pigari Yasi. The mother and the motherland are more glorious than heaven. Comes from a culture which proclaimed Mata Pita Guru Devam. Mata Pita Guru Devam. Which a culture which venerates the mother as God. A culture that even positions the mother who is venerated as God, who positions which positions the mother even ahead of God even before God himself. Coming from such a culture, A.K. Ramanujan, the great ironist, is determined to write about his mother and avoid the trap of sentimentality. How does he do it? Let us examine the title of the poem to begin with, for starters, because it is in the title of the poem that this process starts, 
this process commences. This process begins. The Ramanujan puts into operation the process of writing about his mother without falling into the trap of emotionalism, into the trap of sentimentality. What is the title of the poem? Of Mothers. The title of the poem is not Mother or My Mother, not even Of Mother, but Of Mothers. The poet deliberately pluralizes the term Mother and thus scatters the thematic attention of the poem. The thematic attention of the poem is no longer focused on the poet's mother, but divided among all the members of the class to which the poet's mother belongs. This trick helps to reduce the importance of the mother, who is after all is said and done, the central figure in the poem. The poem is about the poet's mother. But the poet is determined to avoid the trap of emotionalism, the trap of sentimentality. And the process of sidestepping the trap of sentimentality begins in the title of the poem. And he deliberately, and probably after much deliberation, titled the poem, of mothers, thus spreading the thematic attention of the poem from the poet's mother to every single member of the class to which the poet's mother belongs. The matter does not end here. The full title of the poem is Of Mothers, Of Mothers, among other things. The importance of the mother, mother is further reduced when the poet says that the poem is about not his mother but about every member of the class to which his mother belongs of or mothers and also about other things. The mothers are just some of the things about which the poem speaks or mothers among other things the poem speaks about mothers inter alia among other things the poet the poem speaks about many things and some of the things are mothers there is no doubt that the poem has been provided with a brilliant title from the perspective of the great ironist that is A.K. Ramanujan. The title at one stroke reduces the importance of the speaker's mother about whom the poem is after all is said and done about, scatters the thematic attention and makes it clear that the speaker is going to speak about his mother in a way that is typical of the great ironist that he is.